Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. You have found the Cryptopolitan. I'm Satoshi Sean. Thanks once again for stopping by. If it's your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. We get news videos out to you every single day and on the weekends. This is your weekend report. Um, also, remember to crush that like button. It really helps us out. Let's jump into it. A few things I wanted to go over. One, it's kind of a personal thing. Um, I'm going to go over Menipay. Uh, Menipay, it's, uh, they've released, they're done with their IEO. Um, they're listing for trading next month, but the app is already out on Google and on iOS. It is focused on the MENA region or the Middle East and North Africa. It uh, really aims to take the, uh, the unbanked in the Middle East and Africa by storm. Uh, huge team. The Prince of Saudi Arabia is on the, on the board. Um, <clears throat> a very big team. For transparency, I am on the team also. Um, but we're, uh, like I said, uh, it's, the IEO is over. Everything is out. Um, I'm looking for Menipay to really take off here. Very excited about it. Uh, in that vein of new cryptocurrencies, uh, University Professor is launching his own cryptocurrency. Um, reminds me a little bit of, uh, of Cardano. Recently, um, Emin Gunn, Sire, announced that he will be making a blockchain and a crypto network, uh, which will be supported by the most powerful virtual currency firms and the whole industry of finance of fintech. Um, now, he's a professor of computer science at the University of Cornell, so kind of a brainiac. Um, the network is supposed to reduce transactional time and aid applications backed up by blockchain technology. Now, Emin, um, he's the co-director of the university's Initiative for Cryptocurrencies and Smart Contracts. He said that the network that Avia is trying to be a competitor for a successful payment systems like Visa. Um, now, the, one of the big things is that they've already gained over $6 million from big investors uh, for the prototype, which is coming out on the 23rd. It's only a few days away. Um, definitely something to check out, and we will be keeping our eye on it. Uh, this, I think, is really, really cool. Uh, Coinbase is doing their, their uh, starting in an earn, a learn-to-earn, basically, for crypto in 19 different countries. Um, what they're going to do is pay people to learn about cryptocurrencies. Um, recently, Coinbase made an announcement about a service called Coinbase Earn. This service is supposed to be an education, educational while users learn about crypto. They can earn a few simultaneously. The service is available in 19 areas or 19 different countries. Um, it's mainly, I think, to help push adoption, which I think it will really, really push adoption. I know people that'll do this. Uh, if I tell them they'll earn some you know, free money. Um, basically, you watch a uh, you watch a video, you learn a little bit about crypto, and then you can get XLM or uh, Zero X, and so on. Um, Coinbase's idea of making users earn crypto while they learn about it is engaging and interesting. The main idea behind this activity is to normalize crypto and make users understand the potential of the technology. So it's kind of like paying people to check it out. Uh, with that being said, the user will also be able to earn a little bit of their own crypto in the crypto space. Um, like I said, it's in 19 different countries. They're listed here in the uh, in the story. I think that's amazing that Coinbase is doing this. I think it's going to be really, really cool. Um, I'm going to be telling people about it. I'm going to be pushing it. Um, I don't think the United States is on there because it never is. Uh, no, no, it is. What do you know? Except New York and Hawaii. Freaking New York. Definitely going to tell everyone about that. Um, and of course Switzerland because they're, you know, super friendly. Uh, now it's some kind of serious news that I thought was a really big deal this week. Um, the Ripple escrow system was reported by miss missing over $84 million U.S., or uh, I'll tell you how much it is, 200 million XRP. Now, CoinMetrics is a blockchain analysis company. They they uh, they reported that they noticed some contradictions in the system um, versus the, basically the contradictions between the blockchain and what Ripple had reported. Uh, the problem lies in the reporting system where what Ripple reports is uh, publicly is different from what the Ripple ledger shows. Now, we all know that blockchain is immutable, so they can't change it. Um, and what, what it shows is the truth, and it doesn't add up. 
Interestingly, two market reports have already uh, falsely reported uh, based on the numbers that Ripple increased on its, in its escrow. The amount reporting contradiction is 200 million XRP, about $84 million. So it's a ton. Um, this was reported and it kind of made a big deal. Now, as a follow-up, second story, the CTO refutes it, shockingly enough. Not very well, though, in my humble opinion. David Schwartz, Ripple CTO, rejected the Coinmetrics report, stating that it occurred because of an issue with the timeline. The CTO reported that Coinmetrics, by declaring the matter was a timeline issue simply, he further added that the firm yanked the timeline in 2018 uh, to imitate trades taking place every month of the quarter instead of linking returns to the date of the early escrow release. In addition, Schwartz tweeted that Ripple is planning to add additional languages to future market reports to ensure transparency. And a Twitter user said, a scam is a scam. Unexpected tokens are not true crypto, but only a method of printing free money, which it's kind of one of the things that people complain about with Ripple. Uh, I think it's a big deal. I think it's a bigger deal than people are making about it. That's about it for this weekend report. If you have any comments, please uh, leave them below. Once again, please crush that like button. And make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You guys take care. It was good hanging out with you. I'll see you in the next video.